You have a question? You have a question? You got a question on the universe? And you are? Joe, nice to meet you. You got a question on the universe? I do. Yeah. If I wanted to book a flight from Earth to Mars, how long would it take me to get there? You have to wait until Earth and Mars are configured in just the right way before you launch your rocket. When you do, it takes you about nine months. Nine months? If you launch at the wrong time, it could take you years and years. Because these are two moving bodies around the sun at the same time. And there's only one configuration that minimizes how long that trip takes. And you gotta wait for that to happen. And that alignment takes place every two or three years. So you can't just book a trip tomorrow and expect to get the nine month travel. Right. I really hope they don't lose my luggage in nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Your luggage landed on Saturn, too bad. Uh, yeah, uh, who, who knows what will happen in the future. Nowadays, interplanetary space travel is all about conserving fuel. But imagine a day where you could refill in, 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 in space stations, right. positioned throughout the solar system. If that were the case, you could fire your engines and keep them fired all the way to Mars. If that were the case, you'd get there in a month. Yeah, it'll take a lot of fuel to get there in a month. Right. The nine-month journey is where you leave Earth with just enough speed to coast your way to Mars. And then you have to put on your brakes when you get there, otherwise you crash land. But it's the coasting journey that will take you nine months. But if you have enough fuel to just fly, just crank it, you can cut almost as much time off of that trip as you have fuel to accommodate. So if you're in a hurry, the future might bring a faster trip for you. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Thanks for coming. All right.